Hey, what's up everybody? It's Al here. Um, today is Friday, September 3rd, um, day one of Sabaton Con. I just thought I'd do a little bit of a intro slash prologue before I actually, you know, get ready for the event. Like I got my, got my breakfast right here. Um, I don't know what to feel about this because uh, it's been two years since I've even attended one of these conventions. Um, COVID has made times really hard for, I'm pretty sure all of you, especially those of you who are attending and haven't been able to for the past two years. But now I'm actually looking forward to this now that I got my cosplays, my props ready. Um, I just got a new hat from Ethan. And uh, I'll see you guys right over there as soon as I finish my breakfast and uh, get dressed. <laughs> um, you're about to see my first outfit, so look forward to it. Folks, we are in familiar territory already. Um, I haven't really been to downtown Phoenix much, um, not just because of COVID, but because of other stuff too. Um, I hardly ever think to go here on my way to work. But um, over here is like, yeah, I remember those windows. I remember uh, looking out these windows once, if you guys remember from the uh, one from 2019. Well, Looks like I'm gonna have to cross all the way over here to get inside. Actually, how the hell do I get in there? I can get in the shack too. Your weapon, sir? Oh, thank you. <laughs> do you want me to take a look at it? There you go. Oh yeah, look at this right here. <laughs> You guys look it up this close, it's like it's like lamppost material. Very good, very good captain. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> very good. So uh, yeah, we're all here. Um, we're here in line. Uh, we got we got some birthday we got some birthday boys here. That's good. <laughs> yeah. First con, huh? First con. So uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we're stuck in line here because the system went down. But uh, I'm pretty sure this should clear up really quick. I mean, uh, I mean, but just take a look at this. Take a look at how long that extends. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna lay off a little bit before I enter the upstairs area. But um, as I take it from here, well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, if you guys see that back area there, um, that's kind of where I started my uh, my vlog of 2019. So like this is familiar territory. As soon as I like get up, they might have changed a few panel rooms. They may have changed a few game rooms, which is to be expected because of course we're trying to keep everybody safe. But as of now, we're still stuck in line. So <laughs> cue the music. So we're finally out of that blasted line. Um, they, I'm pretty sure they got things working again. But um, just ran into a friend and you know, I was just talking to her a little bit and I was hoping I would at least run into one familiar face, especially from two years ago. Um, I'm gonna walk around, see if I can recognize anybody else. Well, hopefully they recognize me because well, <laughs> this is one of my favorite outfits and I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this. So, let's go. I've been wanting to say that for a while. <laughs> yep, there you have it, folks. It's all coming back to me. Yep, it's just bringing back the memories from two years ago. I'm pretty sure the gaming lounge is going to be over here. 
pretty sure there's more up there. All right, the exhibit hall is now open. Um, yeah, yep, it's it's all here. It's all here. <laughs> I'm honestly without words. It is a lot smaller, but I guess that's to be expected. I recognize that panel. I mean, I think they were playing Smash Brothers music in the background. A couple more over here. Oh, I love that. The game room's open now, although it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot smaller because you know we need to we need to make sure we keep limited space. But um, pretty much looks about the same as it did last time. I'll be honest guys this is like the first time i've ever felt you know a case of deja vu to where um it's like okay yeah i've been here i was here two years ago but i don't know if it's going to be exactly the same or if it's going to be a lot different but i do know that um i'm just gonna take it for what it is I didn't even my name. <laughs> well guys it turns out i already got myself a fan right here <laughs> Oh yeah. Diana, by the way. That's my you call me D. It's a lot <laughs> yeah. Well, she goes by D. I go by Al. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, I know that name sounded familiar. <laughs> I, I, I know I saw these little pups before. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> Hey boy. Hey boy. You're shy one, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I think this one smells mine. I have a multi poo. Oh, yeah, he's here. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I got started with all Yeah, Hey. Stick in the mud. Yeah, Look over here. Kiva. The whole world wants to see your pretty face, Kiva. You're like, I want one of each. Kiva. Whatever I want to do. I need that. Well, he's got to stay hydrated. Mother, come in say hi to you. Gary uh, Room has grown a lot more now. Like, we got Mario Kart right here. We got Street Fighter. Ooh, Beat Saber. And then we got Super Smash Brothers over there in the corner. Oh, I think this is one of those things where you have like a you have like a big selection of um, of fighting games as well as uh, a lot of other things. Look at all the selections here. What's NBC Two? I want to play some NBC Two. Uh, a little bit of Super Smash Brothers. Oh my god. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. That was amazing.
I don't know what it is, guys, with Super Smash Brothers. It's just like, uh, I used to have so much fun playing it, and I used to actually, you know, have some skill, but these guys are just, they're way too good. And it, it's really hard for me to, you know, don't take this as me being salty, but it's really hard to enjoy um, a game like that if practically everyone is just so much higher of a level than you that you almost have no chance and it's just like it, it, it's not fun it's just not fun like i thought it would be uh, well can't win them all i suppose but hey at least we got mario kart would you look at that we actually have kind of a buffet here <laughs> this is nice well if you guys excuse me i'm gonna get some food so check it out guys, they actually have food at the con. Got me some uh, some chicken and some mac and cheese, some chips, M&Ms, and a soda. I don't remember them doing this um, when I came here in 2019. Well, I suppose uh, there's no need for me to, to walk somewhere to try to get something to eat. I also um, saw two more familiar faces. Um, it's too bad that I'm still kind of like by myself, I guess. <laughs> But other than that, it's been pretty cool so far. Um, I know that um, it's gonna go on until 10, 10.30. No, it's gonna go on until midnight, but I'm not really gonna stay that long. Um, the least I'm gonna do is um, probably just hang around until like maybe 10, 10.30, and then I'll head back home. So uh, here's the live band. They were playing a lot of good songs. Like they were playing Santana. They're playing just many, a lot of other familiar rock songs. But yeah, it's pretty good. Loving it so far. that as well. At the time, we weren't at, uh, as Team Rocket, because a whole bunch of us do also cosplay as Team Skull. <laughs> yeah, that's actually how Yard and I started hanging out. We were both panelists who admired one another. Oh, by the way, Quiz Quest, good panel. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were both Guzma at that panel. So yeah, that's when you were there as Team yeah, Skull. Yeah. Destroyed everyone at that Quiz Quest. Yeah. <laughs> so was that the, uh, did you get to finish? No. Um, <laughs> so we, I was part of Team Skull AZ and we pretty much only did one thing because we were around for like a year and it was just, we had a meetup and like three people showed up. Oh. And then you guys were just like, we heard there was a meetup and there's just three grunts like, all the ways. Stupid Team Skull dance. And then staff came up and they're like, you guys can't do that right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel too bad about like not enough people showing at meetups. There was Al Fisherman is like a beacon in the vendor hall. Oh yeah. If ever oh, we're split oh, up yeah. since we, <laughs> we we lost our fellow Agent Penn who was like six foot ten inches tall. <laughs> but we have the we have the fishing lure with the Clefairy and the giant uh, that, uh, net of Magic Carp, who are all signed by Eric Stewart, voice actor for Brock, James, and the Magic Carp. Hey, hey! Hey! Uh, yeah, we, we've also met and interacted with most of the living original English Pokemon voice cast, which has been an absolute blast. Jesse's voice actress, she's also Misty, she's also Jiggly Buff. Uh, yep. Has Rachel, been, Rachel Lillis. Uh, yeah, Rachel Lillis. She's incredible. She has been on one of my panels. But the time before that, your arm's getting tired, my friend. The time before that, uh, when she was at her very first convention ever, it was a Tucson Comic Con. They, the, the, the staff came up to us. They were like, "Hey guys, Jesse's voice actress is here," and we were like, "Awesome!" And they're like, "But this is her first public appearance ever. Do not do." That thing that you do. <laughs> every convention to every relevant celebrity, right? This is after this is after us uh, wrangling Eric Stewart into a conference room to take a, a Last Supper picture with him as Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is after us like uh, jumping up and shouting the motto to uh, to Veronica Taylor, Ash's voice actress, and her panel, right? <laughs> and, um, 
<laughs> they're like, look, we know, we know what you guys are about. Do not, please do not, do not do it to Rachel. So we went to her panel, and she, she, her story was really fun there. The three of them all have very different stories about voice acting, and it's incredible. Uh, if you ever have the chance to see them at any convention, do. They're all wonderful people. But then at Game On Expo a few years later, all of them were together at a panel. And Rachel just shows up to one of our panels. It's the training camp. And I'm up there on stage, and I have a, a younger kid who's not like really, oh, I remember this story. Yeah, right? <laughs> the younger kid who's not as like playing along. And I'm like, okay, I see her in the back of the room. Rachel Willis walks in, and I lock eyes with her. I'm like, and she goes, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, new recruit, I think you're going to need uh, veteran treatment here. And I call Rachel up, and she does the Jesse voice, and she does a skit for our, uh, for our training camp now. Aww. Yeah. So cool. Um, and so, uh, big reveal here for those of you who, like, know me personally. Uh, my name is Jesse. <laughs> wow. And this is James. <laughs> The fact that Fisherman has all of his Magikarp signed by James, and I got to team up with Jesse in one of my panels. Oh my God. Uh, like, I can stop going to conventions, and I'm like, yeah, I did, I did everything I wanted to do. <laughs> so, no, but I love, I love doing this, I love doing this. Um, what's up? Yeah, I know. Um, like a drum line in tempo, so I don't lose my place if I can't hear you. Yep, all right, ready? When there's trouble, you know who's at fault. Team Rockets! We're the ones who probably caused it all. Team Rockets! We will commit any criminal act. And you won't get your book on my back. Cause you know we're gonna catch them all. Back in the game room, guys, that Team Rocket AZ thing was amazing. Oh, they got dead by daylight? I'm surprised. It feels so weird seeing this game, seeing this game in person when I've seen it already so much on Twitch. <laughs> so strange to suddenly see it in person. <laughs> this, this is probably the best cosplay dog I've seen yet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, the shield is just a pillow from Amazon. And then Amazing. my friend got felt from Joanne and just cut out the holes and sewed the basic thing. <laughs> Amazing. It has a belt that goes around it, but it kept falling off, so it's not on right now. Oh, yeah. And his earsies are kind of falling out. Oh, no. Come on, Malcolm. Okay, can I fix your ears? <laughs> oh, the poor thing, its ears keep getting stuck. Oh, no. He lives such a hard life. Oh, there it is, it happened again. Look at this, guys, it happened again. It happened again. Everyone's down here now that the exhibit hall is closed. Um, I'm not about drinking or partying, so um, I think I may just have to leave later. But still, you know, tonight's just been an incredible time for sure. Well, folks, I guess that does it for tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow dressed up as Ash. And uh, I'm about to head home right now. Um, I'll discuss with you guys a little bit more as soon as I get to my house. And what basically what I thought of the first day. And I'll see you guys in a few.
guys, uh, I made it back home. I'm tired. There's no way in hell I could have stayed until 12.30 because, well, I have to head back to my apartment anyways. I, uh, as soon as I moved here, I didn't really think of, you know, getting a room at the hotel. So um, it's just going to be driving back and forth, uh, which is going to be like about half an hour anyways. I mean, uh, don't forget, guys, I live here in Phoenix now, so it's not going to be too hard to get to and from downtown to the Sheraton. Um, anyways, about day one, it was pretty good. You know, it was a good start, despite us being stuck in line for like a, a long time because the servers went down. But um, it was nice, you know, being surprised by a familiar face and getting to meet a few artists that you guys already know, like Heidi and Yogi Bud and a few others. Um, as much as I really liked how the con started, it, for lack of a better word, felt, well, kind of lonely. And uh, I was by myself for the most part. I couldn't really find a group of friends to hang with. I mean, I, I tried to hang with some people because, you know, we obviously like the same things. Like, we, we like anime, we like video games, and it's just been a long time since I've actually gotten to, you know, meet up with people and talk to people with the same interests as me. Um, I even met the Team Rocket AZ guys, and yeah, they recognized me, but um, we there wasn't really much words for us to exchange because, it's because like I said, it's been so long. It's been two years. But... I won't worry too much about that. I mean, yeah, I might have been by myself for the most, um, for a lot of the time today, but I know the, that there's three more days ahead of us, and I know that there's, um, there's going to be a lot more reunions with a couple of people, including some friends that I haven't seen in a while, as well as some new ones that I'm looking forward to meeting. All right. And with that, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I will be in my Ash cosplay, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and head to bed because I am bushed like i i was kind of falling asleep during a deep hitties panel um at the end of the con which you know no apologies in advance to deep pity you know if you know he noticed that my eyes were looking drowsy at the front of the crowd but um yeah good night guys i better get off before um, i ramble on too much All right.